Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India, and once again I am here with my new Trip Trip tutorial for C++ exclusively. And this time I will tell you about an exciting free script for 3ds Max, uh, which deforms the edges of uh, editable poly objects in just a matter of seconds. I found this script on scriptspot.com. The name of this script is uh, Deformed Edges. You can download this script from here. I have already downloaded the script, so let's see how it works in 3ds Max. So for that, um, I write a text on the viewport, CG Tutes Plus. I choose the font Arial Black, and um, then I go to Modifier List and apply Extrude Modify onto it. That's fine. This script works on editable poly objects only. So, first of all, I convert it into editable poly object. Now, to run the script, go to Max Script, Run a Script, and open this BGA Deformed Edges script. So, this is the script window. So, let's see how it works. First of all, you have to pick the editable poly object. So, click on this and uh, select the text which is now a poly object next you have to select the contour edges of the text you don't have to uh, select the edges manually just click on this option and it will automatically select the contour edges now let's check the deform options first you have to analyze the topology so click on this and uh, then click on deform selected edges and you can see initially it gives you a nice result based on these default parameters but we can change it at any time you can use this option uh, use interactive mode if you enable this option you can work in real time it means if you change the parameter values uh, you can see the changes happening in the viewport in real time this is bevel outline you can see the chamfer amount changing let's give it a color so that you can see it easily okay now this is edge division increase the value for more jagged edges but don't increase it too much your system may hang however it doesn't affect the topology much but it works internally this is vertex offset more you increase its value more the deformed edges you will have this is a very important parameter this is a random seed option for random results this is norms subdivision value it will try to smooth the edges like uh, mesh smooth does but sometimes it doesn't look good so I make it off if you don't want to use a bevel make it zero and uh, you won't have any bevel effect and then you can uh, work with the rest of the parameters the result looks quite good in a matter of seconds you get the deformed edges while working with this script just keep this in mind uh, that this works with only editable poly objects so guys I hope you must have enjoyed this quick tutorial so let's meet you in my next tutorial this is Chandan Kumar from India for Secrets Plus exclusively See you soon. Bye-bye.